This is October 5th, 2018. Uh, rain yesterday, windstorm came through. Knocked these down on the on the ground. And there's plums everywhere. I gotta come out here and pick up most of them. I don't know if I'll pick up all of them, but I'll try to get as much as I can. And there's probably 30 pounds of plums everywhere. All the way over to there. All the way through here, those trees and that tree. There's probably 30, 40 pounds on the ground. So I put these plums in the sink, let them soak overnight. Usually like leaves and grass and stuff that are on the ground. Let me get that out. So it gets high enough, I can just scoop it over to the other sink. All the grass, quite a bit of it. So I'm going to juice it and uh, put the plum pulp. I'm going to make curl ups. Do that tomorrow. This is the next day about noon. I'm going to have to pit these. They're pretty easy to pit after they soak. That's all you got to do. You can do it easier with the two hands, but I'm filming. But I'm going to pit all that and juice it. And then um, with all the plum pulp, make some fruit roll ups. It rained last night and there's more plums on the ground. It's going to take me a couple, two or three days to get it all cleaned up. This is what the pitted plums look like. These are Italian plums. There's the pits. You can either throw those away or go out in your yard somewhere. Dig up a shovel full of dirt and just bury it. And uh, after they sprout, you'll have so many dang trees you wouldn't believe it. But uh, this is my uh, juicer. It's a Hamilton Beach Big Mouth Best Buy. You can see that. These things are good. I had a Jack LaLanne juicer. Put some um, rhubarb through it. About three or four, maybe five stalks, and it just burned it up. So I recommend this one right here. This is a dang good juicer. It's going to be a little bit loud right now when I turn it on, but... I'll uh, edit it out. pulp you make about five piles like this with a, with a tablespoon about five big scoops make sure you hit the hole don't hit the hole I guess okay that's what it looks like and then you just um, level it out and then it ends up looking like that so you uh, take the five tablespoons, level it out with a spoon or a knife or something like that, and then uh, get ready to dehydrate them. This is what it's, it looks like. This is uh, the plum pulp. Should have made a face in it. Maybe it does look like a face. There you go. Happy Halloween. Yeah, it did make Five tra I mean four trays, excuse me. I put about five of these uh, piles right here and then smooth it out with a spoon. But here we are. They're about a quarter of an inch deep, a little bit less than a quarter of an inch. And um, it'll take about 24 hours to make fruit roll-ups. I'll rotate the trays in about 12 hours. Well, this is what my fruit roll-ups look like. I said 24 hours, but... Uh, I did these for 15 and it was a little bit too long. Let's see if I can pick this thing up. But there it is right there. It uh, needs to be a little bit thicker. And um, because this right here is a little bit. You can hear it. You know. 
still good. This is like fruit leather. But yeah, it needs to be a little bit thicker. You can see that right there. So I'm going to make some more today. But this is how you make fruit roll-ups. You uh, juice them and then use the plumb pulp, flatten them out, and uh, dehydrate them for about 12 hours. This was too long because it's not soft enough. It's, I'm still going to eat it and everything, but it's, uh, it's got a little bit of a crisp to it in spots. This is what the fruit roll-ups look like after they've been dehydrated. You take a knife, just, uh, go around the edges. I already did this one. Or you kind of break it up. But, uh, that's what it looks like. You can see that or not. It's still dark in here. But that's a fruit roll up. You can put it on cellophane or wax paper. Cut it in um, four pieces and roll it up. You take this um, <clears throat> cellophane paper and you just put a fruit roll up on it and kind of like roll it up and then get a pair of scissors and cut it. So that's pretty simple. But uh, that's basically what a fruit roll up looks like. And you can store it in your freezer or store it on your shelves because it's dehydrated. And uh, it lasts for quite a while. Well, here's what the finished product looks like. You can see that. There's ten of them in there. Ten fruit roll-ups. Just put them in that cellophane roll them up. Probably got maybe three quarters of an ounce to an ounce of uh, fruit roll-ups there. In that cellophane. <laughs>